Hi guys, what's going on? This is Master Shake. Alright, so I made a previous video about a TeamSpeak 3, how to get 512 slots for free. Uh, so I'm going to explain it in a little bit more detail on my main channel. Uh, okay, so TeamSpeak 3, without a license, you get 32 slots maximum. Alright, and this does not cost money, but you do have to host it yourself. Or you have to have a VPS, and I'm not going to explain what that is. Uh, right now, but if you want to private message me and ask me how to host it without hosting it on your computer, I'd be happy to help you. Um, Alright, so here are some links that may interest you. Uh, for support, I put up my TeamSpeak 3 address. Uh, for more support, I put up my uh, Skype username. And this right here is the address for the nonprofit license for TeamSpeak. So, first of all, you're going to have to go download TeamSpeak 3 server. Now, if you don't know where that is, the address is teamspeak.com. Alright. Um, after you go download it, download it for the platform that you use. You know, Windows, Linux, blah, 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 so on and so forth. Now, after you get done with that, you're going to go to this site here. Okay. This is the site that I linked. It's right there, right above my uh, window here. Anyway, go to this one, uh, and what I want you to do is I want you to go down here to continue to register for a nonprofit license. Alright, <clears throat> this is the terms of service I suggest you do read it, although nobody ever does. Uh, hit I agree, hit submit. Okay, fill out all your information, make sure you use a correct email and a correct name and organization and all that good stuff. It doesn't have to be perfect, but uh, I do suggest that you um, use the correct email because the email is how you get the actual license and then so on and so forth. Uh, after you do that, after you do that, you're going to want to subscribe to my channel. That's a really important that's a really, really important thing to do right there. No, I'm just messing with you. Uh, anyway. <laughs> Uh, uh, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to your email so the one that you use to make the registration file go to that email and go ahead and grab the attachment off the TeamSpeak file you should be able to get this license anywhere between uh, one minute and an hour it just depends on how busy they are anyway so once you get that license file you'll have this folder right TeamSpeak 3 server now it may be 32-bit or 64-bit or have a Linux right here at the very end but either way you'll still have the same kind of file structure uh, so what you're gonna do is you're just gonna go ahead and drag that license file into your TeamSpeak now uh, I can't remember which one it is it's, I, I believe it's yes it is this one right here license key server key is different anyway you're going to want to drag this, this file in here from your email, license key, just to main directory. Look at the directory real quick so you don't drag it the wrong place. Same place as the .exe. Alright, so once you do that, you're going to start your TeamSpeak up. Right? I've already got mine on. So once you start your TeamSpeak up, you're going to go up here, and you're going to edit virtual server, and you're going to change the slots to 512. Now you're going to have to restart your server every, uh, when you put that license file back in, otherwise it won't take. So once you do that, you can up the max clients to 512. You can also make secondary dedicated servers, so you can make, I think, up to five smaller dedicated servers, so like five, five or ten maximum other servers with up to 512 slots for all of them. Uh, you can't use 512 slots on just one. So you're going to have to do like 60 on one, 60 on another, and so on and so forth. But that's how you do that part. Now, the next part would be port forwarding, which is a little bit over complex for most people. Uh, so if you have questions about this, you can add me on Skype, or you can come in my TeamSpeak. Usually if I'm on my computer, I'm on TeamSpeak, so that's probably the best way to get in touch with me, especially considering what you're setting up. Uh, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to have to open CMD, okay? 
take note to the Ethernet adapter local area connection. Okay, if you're on wireless, I don't suggest you host it, but you know it's up to you. Uh, anyway, so on the IPv4 address, this is your internal IP address. So that goes in there. All right, uh, and then your default gateway is how do you get to this page? This may be different for any all of you, so that's why I suggest you use CMD and look for default gateway. All right. Uh, so that's really all the steps I can really give you as far as port forwarding. I mean, I know how to do it. It's just I can't really explain it without seeing the actual router because I have a Linux and there's like Netgear and a whole bunch of other ones out there. Anyway, if you guys have any any questions uh, that don't need immediate answering, uh, you can go ahead and post in this video down below or you can um, add me either on Skype or go on TeamSpeak. Uh, one more thing, your friends will not be able to connect you until you port forward if you were on a router. I just want to make that very clear because I had a couple of complaints in my other videos uh, saying that there was no way that they could, their friends could connect and that's not true. They can connect, you just have to port forward first. So if you set up your team speak and for some reason nobody can connect, that means you got to port forward. Anyway, thanks for watching the videos. Make sure you guys subscribe, comment, all that good stuff, and you'll see more videos from me. Anyway, goodbye.